Hey everyone, this is Daniel, and today I want to talk about this um, solution that I've built up, um, and that is basically how to police or moderate the images that are uploaded uploaded to your um, SharePoint um, images or picture library. Um, in this example, I'm using SharePoint Online, but you can do the very same for SharePoint On-Prem as well, as long as you have your gateway um, installed, configured, and set up um, for your flow. So uh, in this scenario, um, it's actually very similar to uh, what was announced in the SharePoint Conference North America, because it said that you can over there, um, there was the, you can use the flow uh, to call cognitive services. You can also use that for um, analysis and tagging. And so that was some of the information that was shared over here. Um, I'm going to do the very same. It's also available in the flow that I'm providing, but I'm just taking it a step further. Um, that's when I'm using the um, content moderator um, that's part of the cognitive services. And so that will also be used to police the information, or especially the images that are coming up to see if anything is adult or if anything is racy. And if it qualifies for any one of those, it'll send out a alert. Um, so before I do that, um, I do want to show uh, what all the setup that you have to do in the back end. And um, specifically, there are four connections that you need to know um, in the flow. So the SharePoint connector and the notification connector, those are the two easy ones and they don't need any customization. But the other two you will, and that is for the uh, cognitive services vision and for the content moderator. So I'm going to show you those two. Uh, for the vision, um, it is already available um, in Azure. So you basically go to Azure and you can create a subscription for uh, cognitive services vision. And once you create your subscription for that, um, you basically go in into it and you need two things from there. One of them that you need is um, you will need your uh, um, API key from there, and you also need the site URL. So once I go into my um, uh, um, Azure and I'm seeing my dashboard, I'm clicking on my uh, cognitive services vision. Um, and then over here, I, I get the API URL that you will need. Um, and so in the API URL, you don't need the whole thing. You basically just need enough right which ends till microsoft.com that's the url that you're going to need and then you can go ahead and grab your key for that um, now um, um, right now in my azure i'm using the 150 dollars free credits that comes along with it and that has been more than enough for testing purposes so if you have that that should be sufficient as well um, again you need two things from here you need the um, api call url it's also called the site url uh, you will need that from here and then you can also go and grab your key and that's for the vision for the content moderator is again the same thing um, let me actually back up and go um, all the way out uh, once you log into the content moderator and you go ahead and create an account and everything um, you basically come to your um, settings over here and you go to credentials in your credentials that's where you'll go ahead and get your api again that ends right up to the microsoft.com one and then you also go and get your key for that so those are basically the two things that you will need. That's when you go ahead and create your connectors. So now um, just be very cautious of which environment you're in. I have a dev environment. So when I go to dev environment, I go to my connections. I just make sure that I have at least these four connections available. So that's what I'm going to validate. Um, but, and you need to validate that before you update that zipped file, which I've already provided. And so that's what I'm doing over here. I already have the SharePoint one. Um, I already have the notifications one. Um, now I confirm that I have the computer vision one because I went ahead and got the key, the URL, and created that connector, um, the connection, and I did the exact same thing for content moderator, got the key, got the URL, and created that connection. So I've got these four connections built, and now I was able to go ahead and create um, the flow successfully. Um, in your case, um, just make sure that you've got these four uh, connectors, and then after that, you can go ahead and upload that um, zipped file, which is the flow. Uh, template that I provided and then once you provide it you just you know connect it to the connectors over here and you should be fine um, let's take a quick look at the flow as well okay so in my flow um, I don't want to deep dive too much into it because you already have a copy of it uh, but what I want to show is just a few a uh, few important things here and there um, so let me just zip the file I mean uh, close some of these steps so the whole thing is a little bit more visible screen size too All right, that should be enough okay um, things that I've done is I use the flow to run I only use the flow to run or kick off when uh, a document is uh, uploaded 
and then you're going ahead and updating the, uh, the properties for that. Uh, after that, you go ahead and get the file content because that's how you go ahead and get that image. Um, I put the delay over there just so that it has enough, you know, lag time between the file uploaded and gone ahead and to get the cognitive vision as well as the content moderator to run. Uh, you don't have to do that. It's just something I put that in. I only put that in for 10 seconds. Um, and also, uh, if you notice that I've got the vision first and then I've got the moderator, um, you don't have to do it in this order. You can flip them around if you want. That's just something I did. Um, I went ahead and created a, a variable. Um, in that variable is where I'm saving all the tags altogether. Um, so that's what I did. Um, and then after, I went, now that I have the tags, I just use that to go ahead and first update that image. Um, I update all the tags to that image. That's the first thing. Because right now, I don't want to worry if it is a... Um, adult or if it's a racy one, I just want to update all the tags. So regardless of which one it is, I've got I got the tags. Then the next ones I um, sections were basically just to make sure that I was a catch all. That's why I broke it down into four conditions. Uh, one of the things I was looking at is that um, after it goes through content moderator, um, I'm just catching those which fall 70% or higher um, probability rate. Um, so if any of the images um, have a 70% higher uh, for both the adult or the racy, that's when the email notifications go out. Um, and so um, sometimes um, it, it could be, you know, both of them could be at a higher rate and that's fine. That's why I went ahead and broke it down with these four conditions. So you will have a copy of this. That's where you can actually further deep dive into it and take a look at it. Um, plus in the email notifications I went out, I had to actually clean up how the email looked. So you, you have a copy of the whole thing and you'll be able to see that. So now that you've seen, I mean, we've you know, gone through everything, all the prep work, the behind the scenes work that you need to have ready, let's go ahead and do some testing. So let me just um, update that and we'll start uploading some files. Okay, so here's the first file I'm gonna upload. Uh, and this is right now empty, so let me upload the first file. And I'll just put up something simple. And that's a JPEG or JPG file that's going up. And that's the JPG file that went up. Once it's gone up, the flow should start running over there. Um, so while the flow is running, um, I went ahead and basically um, kept it as it is as a thumbnail. But I also created this uh, list view, <clears throat> which gives you the name of the file, you know, the file size. And that all happens by default. Um, not, the file size doesn't come from there. Um, let me go and refresh it. Um, and so this thing ran through uh, pretty easily, as you can see, um, you know, it said that it, it went ahead and got all the tags, like I showed in the flow, um, based on the content moderation, um, this is, you know, at, at a almost 1.8%. Um, so there's no concern for that. That's why the classification is normal. Um, let's also go and take a look at the flow. Refresh that. And the flow ran successfully. That's that's the one I just ran the 50, uh, four seconds ago. But let's do some more testing. All right. So now let me upload. Um, let me upload, say, this one. And uh, by the way, in the uh, documentation I'm providing in the zip files, I've also given you these sample images that are provided, uh, so you guys can do those testings as well. And then obviously you can do some more testing with your own images. So here's the second image uh, that I've uploaded. Obviously, once I've uploaded it, flow is running. So let's go in the back end and take a look at what's happening. All right, so it ran. And looked like it ran through pretty well because uh, there's some more information happened over here and it's a little more different, right? Uh, first thing is um, this was classified as racy. Um, also, it went ahead and gave us all the tags and the content moderation to this one is about 83%. Um, so um, based based on this content moderation, I should actually get an email notification any second now. So let's go and take a look at my email. And I did. And so this email, and this is how I've made the email template um, to come out in the notification. The email basically says that, Dear Daniel, an, an image was uploaded on this specific day, um, and it can potentially have a medium level severity and the medium level is because of the average of the two um, also as you can see the highest was only at 83 percent and so if you look at the flow i've put that anything which is between the 70 and 80 is low 80 and 90 is medium anything over 90 is high um, and that's why i've also put the coloring over here um, if it was low it'd be yellow medium it would be um, 
this orange and then red it would be you know um, high um, so in the email notification basically that's all it is um, it's giving you an update um, but it's also saying that the chances of this might be um, you know this is that this could just be a misunderstanding um, but it's just best that you take a look at it in the email notification I've also provided all the tags and then after that is a link to the image so I just click on the uh, link and it takes you straight to the image over there and so that's basically all that's going on over here um, the link opened up a separate tab in the browser and it just shows you that image on that so I want to do one more test just as a final proof of concept and we'll just pick um, another image again these images have been provided to you uh, so you guys can do all the testing that you want um, now when we go back you can just take a look at the tiles um, that was the new image that I updated over I just uploaded these were the other two that were there so let's go back into the list view and I'm going to refresh it all right so this one ran as well and um, in that one you can see that this one is also classified as racy um, and its content moderation uh, percentage is higher it's it's at 0 0.90 which is at 90 percent so again, any second now, I should get an email notification, which will come out, uh, and it'll basically give me that same type of warning that, um, hey, again, a documentation was uploaded, um, and you just want to have a take a look at that. So let's go and just take a look to see what's the old email. Let me cancel that. There should be an email. Yep, there's the email. Um, and remember, this one, this one is high. So I'm going to click on that. Let's make sure I can see all the pictures in my uh, Hey, an image was uploaded. Um, it has a very high severity level. Again, the chances are this might just be a misunderstanding, uh, but just it's best that you take a look. Um, again, uh, it provides all the tagging that the uh, Cognitive Services Vision did for us, and then it provides the link. So I can just click on the link, and it'll open up the image over there. Um, so this is just an overview of how now using uh, Flow, um, also using the Cognitive Services A. Um, uh, vision as well as the content moderator um, I can police all the images that are coming up over there um, tag them because that will also help in the search for that um, and if anything does get at a you know at a high or a medium at a low level um, section or a you know, category it sends out an email notification um, so hopefully you guys found this helpful um, I've provided everything in the blog including sample image examples of mine um, that you guys can use and test with um, and hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.